Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome back to The Wind Waker. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I had even more technical issues before this episode. By which I mean, I started to record it, but the recording cut off 20 seconds in, and I didn't notice for like, five minutes? Which isn't that long, but it was enough when it comes to the story things that I thought, you know what, I'll just quit the game, reload the save, do this bit again. Except, you know me, I'm not the brightest. I didn't save since, you know, I started recording this series again, so I had to redo that three hours of collecting items that made up that last seven minute video, and also the back half of the episode before it. I'm... I'm the greatest, best YouTuber, never had any problems with doing this career in my life. I'd like it to be a career, but it sure isn't at this point. I don't make money yet. But finally, I'm gonna go down, gonna quickly run through Ganon's tower and beat him. Shouldn't take that long, right? Well done, Link. You must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. Okay, let me just pull it out of my pocket. Ah, I forgot to put it together. All of the chunks of cheese have just spilled out of the boat. <laughs> Unfortunately, not what happens. Link did remember to super glue the Triforce back together. Oh, what is this? There, on your hand, the Triforce piece now dwells within you, and the main theme of the franchise kicks in in the background. For, you know, it is the Triforce of Courage, proof that you are indeed the true hero. You may not have been when you started your journey, but through trials and tribulations, you have earned the title that is normally given by destiny. <laughs> you made your own destiny, Link. You have controlled the wind and crossed the seas, and here, near the end of your quest, the power of the gods has been bestowed upon you. Surely, from this moment on, you shall be known as the Hero of Winds. Link, Hero of Winds, go forth to Hyrule, to Zelda's side. Well, um, technically I'm not the one who has to go forth. Y you're the boat who has to move. God damn it, don't ruin the moment, Link. Hero of Winds should have called him the Hero of Whining. At least he didn't mention that I deadnamed Tetra again. Oh yeah, don't deadname Tetra, by the way. I, I walked into that one. <laughs> Speaking of the princess who descends from a line of princesses named Zelda, and by birthright should have that name as well, but chose her own as the pirate queen to be Tetra. Hey, Tetra, I did the thing, I fixed the Triforce of Kari- Tetra? Where'd she go? You have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. 
I have taken your precious Zelda. Really? Even you're dead naming her? I'm the villain. I do bad things. And here you shall fall into eternal slumber. Oh no. Two dark nuts or iron knuckles can never tell the difference. At once? Man, this is gonna be hard fought. If only I could press the A button and just hit him in the back when I need to. Ow. I mean, that's fair. I'm getting so many prompts for pressing A. I'm, I'm just kind of wailing and then occasionally pressing A when I can. And it's relatively working? Target the other guy, please. Oop. Whoa. Guess I'm not the only one with a jump attack. But unfortunately, for that guy, mine's better. And recover that heart I lost. Alright. I have the magic armor. I can just be invincible as long as I have rupees. But I know that doesn't apply during upcoming flashback sequences. And the barrier preventing us from leaving this castle, which I didn't even know was there, has been dispelled. But that still leaves the barrier around the castle itself. If only my sword were now strong enough to break it. Also, Link keeps losing the hero mask thing every time a cutscene plays. I'm sure Nintendo thinks he looks cooler without it, but I earned that thing. <laughs> the barrier shatters into a million shards of obsidian glass. I sure hope that didn't land anywhere important. I mean, having a moat full of glass seems unpleasant for those involved. Anyway, hello P-Hat. Goodbye P-Hat. Same applies to you. And as I push forth, oh no, not red shoes. Surely they are the most treacherous foes to place in my path. They're, they're not. Ah, uh, but this Moblin, depending on what he does, he may stand a chance against me. He didn't do an attack that made him stand a chance against me. Hello, fellow Moblin. Your comrade just fell to my blade, and you shall as well. Now, I know, because I, again, was part way through this earlier, actually it would have been more than five minutes, because I'd say I was like five minutes into the Ganon's Tower dungeon, because I did two of the boss fights in there. Because there's a lot of those. I know. I can attack this Dark Nut from behind if I'm careful enough because of his patrol route. But, uh, I did not get in quickly enough. So. Give me an A press. There we go. I don't need stealth. I'm the hero of winds. More like hero of whining. I already made that joke. You can't keep doing it, old man. Yep. It would be very funny if these keys hit me. You're kidding me, right, Link? If I can manually aim that high, your Z-targeting should aim that high. 
The fact he kept undershooting them was weird. Undershooting relative to the angle, not relative to distance. Distance-wise, he was definitely overshooting. Now, I am going to do these boss fights in the order that I was intending to do them originally before things got weird with my recording. Which I have just checked is still going. I swear if this somehow makes a 20 second video when I can very clearly still see OBS working. I'm going to lose my shit, but at least I saved this time. Not that that means anything to you. Excuse me, sir? Uh, you want to appear in a place I can actually hit you? Oh. It spawned so far away I couldn't even hear its sound cue. But also, there was a fairy in one of those pots. Yoink. And so you're aware of my current bottle situation, I have that fairy, I have grandma soup, and a blue potion. So you know. I feel like I'm pretty set for what is to come. Just gotta slip past those down drafts. Down drafts, down currents. Ah! I completely forgot about those two blin, obviously. I still somehow made it on top of that ambush, though. Oh wow, a joy pendant. Aren't I glad to have gotten one of those? And now hookshot time. And it's time to fight Mulgara again. Hmm. I wonder if jump attacks do more damage. Yep. I had to keep note of that. The game forcibly unequips your items before these flashback fights. Hang on. Whoop! A little close there, buddy. It seemed to do about the same. Still just counts as a sword hit. Now I'm probably going to want to start aiming at Mulgara manually, just so I don't access accidentally z-target the small things, because uh, they really like to get in the way of my z-targeting. Like, even if they are behind me, they will somehow be locked onto instead of Mulgara. Don't do it! Don't do it! You didn't bite me. You tried. But I am too skilled for that. Well, going back to the middle. That's okay with me. That was out of range. I'm fine. Ah, uh, my Z-targeting. Nearly didn't get those hits. Uh-oh. That was an accident. Just manually aim at Mulgara. Don't get eaten by, you know, being sucked towards it. Wow. They're literally ganging up so close to me, they're throwing off my manual aiming. Jesus. Well, what's done is done. And that is what that is done. Done dude. I... One of four. Next 
next up, Earth Temple. The boss of which... How have I forgotten it again? I literally did this one earlier today. This was the last one that I got done. Yeah, there's that chew that I needed. Don't do it. Don't. You're an ass. Don't do it again. Okay, now drop. And hopefully I have enough time to get over there. Considering I dropped it, I don't know if I will. Yep, lifted by the staircase. Whew. Ow. Oh, there's one directly there. Ah, oh, but right, the light source was on the opposite side. Oh! That was, a uh, convenient snipe with the light. I definitely did that on purpose. Definitely. I'm a skilled gamer, you know? Definitely wasn't just preparing to aim at a closer chew or anything. Uh, no thank you. Oh, come on, you're cutscening me! <sighs> if this Stalfos's cutscene was just a fraction of a second shorter, I would have gotten away with being on the stairs. You ass of a game. Let's try and aim it at the far one again. Cool. Saves me a little time in regards to moving with heavy object. You're kidding. It's probably gonna unfreeze by the time I get there now. And at least that time I was on the stairs. Whew. And this was the Po, right. B big Po boy. Nope. Don't you dare hit me with that fire while I'm trying to freeze you up. And lift. And into the spikes. Phase two, same as the first. Oh no, he's doing a big suck. Unfortunately, his fire breathing is interrupted when I start freezing him with the light, so... You know, sucks to be him. Phase three... Lights are gonna be harder to reach, but I should be fine. I am fine. And go to the same pillar, because why not? And get all the pose. Easy fight. Next up, Big Planty Boy, followed by Dagoma. I'll need the Korok Leaf for this room, because it was literally mid-progress of this room that I, uh, realized what was going on. And... Platform in jump range and blow. And I 
can definitely make the jump without the leaf when the platform's low. Well, that didn't happen to me last time. we go. Just barely made it. Didn't hit the thing while I was low enough to do so. There we go. Now, get right on over here and prepare to snipe some pea hats just in case they want to be a pain. Which, let's be honest, they're pea hats. They're always pains. My boomerang cannot hit from there. Bow it is, even though gyro and on a slightly wiggling platform makes sniping harder. But uh, turns out I'm a god gamer. Yeah, you you'd be surprised. Hmm, does this one have magic in it? Magic would be nice after all the gliding. Oh no, look at the- Stop forcibly unequipping my items. That- that's my biggest problem with these. I, I get it, it wants to make sure you don't have any equipped that are, um, anachronistic, I believe is the term for things in the wrong point in time. But, uh, yeah. This, uh, shouldn't really be the issue it's making itself out to be. You know what? I was fine with doing that just to get an extra hit in. Because now the thing's below half health, like, I may as well just keep doing that. Ugh. Forgot that attack was a thing. Still seems uh, fairly easily avoidable, so... Come on. I think there's one more. No, there's a few more strings on the opposite side that it doesn't want to target through like it would with, say, a big Octo. Is that not? It was not. Can you not? Wait. Oh, it's reattaching some over time. That checks out. Why was that throw interrupted? Stop that. There we go. That shouldn't have taken that much effort, but eh. And lucky last, Goma the first. Because I like going anti-clockwise. Because right is always right. Yeah. That's silly logic and I know it. But still. It is what it is. Uh-oh. I'll probably be fine. Really? Overshot the pre-existing platform. There's a bunch of water so that I could make my own, but uh, I feel like if I just don't swing as hard, I'll be fine. See? Um. Yep. Hang on. Need to stop. Climb up. A distance. Now, I 
well, that's, um, that's not a lot of swing space, huh? Okay. Down a bit more than that. Gotta think about the arc of my swing and how high I will end up going with full momentum. And that seems to be not quite it. Nope. Let little lower link. Hang on. Need to be holding it and hit down. Need to not be an idiot. Which, you know, I have an amazing track record of. And at full height, that... Is that really it? Can I not get any higher? I mean... I know I could use those pots of water. Those would probably be beneficial, but like... If I can make the swing, I can make the swing. Not sure if this is intended solution, but by golly, it's better than wasting my time trying to do whatever else I was doing. Now, I believe there's a geyser around the front here somewhere. Oh, that is one. It just took a second to activate. Great. Now. Goma! Hello, old friend. Automatic unequipping of items. Ow. Hang on. Grapple off of the loo. Done the big insect girl. Make a crack in her armor at least. Ouchie. I'd rather not be hit by falling rock if I can help it. Yeah, her eyes still not a viable option yet, so just keep doing Valu. Have to fully crack the armor so she can't shut her eye. I remember. It's been a long time, but I remember now. Her eyelid is part of her armor, and so if she uh, doesn't have an eye, she can't. Well, doesn't have an eyelid, she can't shut her eye. Then I can grapple and attack her, and it shouldn't take too long. She's mad. She has no armor and no eyelid. Man, imagine not having an eyelid. Your eye would get so watery without the ability to blink. Or dry, rather. It'd try to water itself, but since blinking normally does that job, you'd get very dry eyes. Wouldn't be pleasant. Speaking of unpleasant things, well, it'll be fun, but it won't necessarily be pleasant to venture further into Ganon's tower. Fighting a phantom once again, obtaining light arrows, and finally defeating the evil king that kidnapped Tetra. All to happen in the next episode. Bye.